kinds of high quality entertainment. I uh, had a live chat a few days ago with Fit to Be Tie Dye. We ranked the Grand Funk Railroad albums, and then after that, I did an unboxing, and then we did a, a live chat. It was a lot of fun. And tomorrow, Glenn Calloway from the basement, yes, him. We're going to be going out on an on an adventure. We're going to a record store in Coburg, Ontario called Zap Records and we're going to be filming inside the store. That's right. So, looking forward to that. So anyway, the during the live chat I did a couple of unboxings and it's in the middle of this really long live chat, a couple hours that we did. So I thought I would just re-show it to you. So it's already unboxed, but it's still, I'm still going to unbox it again for you. It gets complicated. And yesterday, I was talking to a friend on Facebook, and he sent me a link to a song on YouTube. And it, I, I love the idea of it so much that I raced to Amazon and I ordered it and I got it today because I have Amazon Prime. And here it is. I've never had one of his albums or CDs ever. Not Jerry Lewis the comedian. Jerry Lee Lewis. The great Jerry Lee Lewis. Great balls of fire. That hurts. And anyway, uh, I w and I was reading up on this, that uh, this was uh, when his career wasn't going so well. I think this is like 1960... Oh, it's 1964. And so I don't know if... I don't know what was going on in his life, but he's racing through the songs with so much energy and the band, the backup band is doing their best to keep up and I guess they do from, I haven't, you know, I only was listening to the one song but I was reading up more on it, like I said, on Wikipedia or whatever and, and the, the band did keep up with him and so just, and this is considered, I've, I've read online that this is considered by some people to be the, the greatest live album ever. I actually thought that Nickelback at the Coco Club was considered the best. Anyway, <laughs> Nickelback live at the Caribbean Boat Cruise. This is like five minutes later. And there isn't even a security tab on it to frustrate me even more. I just can't get the plastic off the CD. I'm getting really, really angry. Yeah, so there might be another live chat sometime this weekend. Uh, maybe Glenn Kellaway can uh, dock, dock us, fit to be tie-dye, or somebody, somebody else. And uh, I usually have a new new video every day, almost every day. So, and sometimes notifications I don't think go out, and every, every channel has issues with that. So just go to my front channel once a day, and my latest channel is usually right there. My my, my latest video. Here we go. So this is Jerry Jerry Lee Lewis live at the Star Club Amber. That's right, where the Beatles played. Bear family. I'm gonna ask Glenn, because he's a pretty, he's a bigger collector of music than I am actually, if he's ever heard this album. And if, he's, if he says no, I'm gonna, gonna say, why not Glenn? I thought you liked rock music. Say, what's wrong with you? It doesn't even look like Jerry Lee Lewis there, but I guess it is. 
But anyway, when, when you marry, when you're a rock musician, rock star, doesn't matter what decade, and you decide to marry your 13-year-old cousin, you might just lose a little bit of popularity, so don't do that. It's just my suggestion. Let me know in the comment section below if anyone, else, I'm sure there is some people comment that they've heard this. But he was just, like he's, he's known as the killer. And he was just killing it on stage. Yeah, his backup band was the Nashville Teens. And other things that are available. I'm surprised there's no write-up on, you know, on, in the booklet, but just, just go online on Wikipedia and you'll read, uh, about this performance, which is high energy rock and roll, just like me. And I bought this book that just came out, Peter Frampton. Do you feel like I do? And I, the, the way I read books is I'm just all over the place. I don't read from start to finish. That's why I never read novels. I don't know what that issue is. I've got issues. <laughs> but it, I've read, you know, I, I end up reading the whole book anyway. But I find this highly entertaining. He talks about working with George Harrison on All Things Must Pass. Ringo and of course Humble Pie that he was a member of and then you know the typical drug issues and his friendship with David Bowie who uh, they knew each other I think from, from the school years and pictures of him with members of the Rolling Stones and Hank Marvin, Pearl Jam. So yeah, if you're a fan of Peter Frampton, I highly recommend this book. It's been, and he and he does talk about uh, the movie Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. <laughs> he, he he realized when when they were filming that that, that it was a stinker. And anyway. The box set I bought and I unboxed during the live show is Procol Harum, Still There Will Be More, an anthology 1967 to 2017. So that's 50 years. And, and just, you know, there's been a lot of complaints and even, even I've kind of complained a bit about the George Harrison uh, Super Deluxe box set uh, for All Things Must Pass. I bought it. so. It's my fault, <laughs> uh, but I think I bought it for 180. I've seen it in I've seen it in record stores for up to 220 dollars, and what you get is, of course, five five CDs. Is there a Blu-ray? I don't remember. I think it's five CDs and a big poster and a pamphlet, and that's it. That's the super deluxe. This one cost me $130. And this is all you get in it. You get just, you know, it's from their whole career, you know, uh, selecting songs from all of their albums and live albums. So disc one is a CD. There's five CDs in total. Then there's a DVD of different appearances different appearances on like Top of the Pops and Beat Club and uh, elsewhere. Uh, disc 7 is a live performance, I, I believe from, it doesn't say right here, but I believe it's from about 1973 or so. And then another one, another DVD. So there's three DVDs in total with video footage and two live concerts. 
And if you can't read that, just, you know, Google the box set. Gary Brooker, of course. These band photos. Now this is how you do a box set. So five, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five CDs and three DVDs. Guess what? You get a poster. Very nice poster. But wait, that's not all. You also get a hard cover, hard cover book. A good sized uh, book. With lots of reading and pictures from throughout their career. Now Glenn and I are uh, we we're swapping five CDs again. We I think I think Glenn and I love doing this and I, I wish it would uh, you know get more views th than they are getting because it's I think it's probably my favorite ID you know continuing series I've ever done and one of the albums is Pokal Harm's A Salty Dog I'm not saying I love the you know just because I bought this and Glenn's watching this and he might be thinking oh he loves Pokal Harm it depends we'll see I have the Pokal Harm CD home, which I've always loved. But yeah, this is a really nice book. It's not a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes through each song on the on the CD, like a long. Uh, show you here. Like Whiskey Train, one of my favorite Uncle Harm songs. Little blurb for every song. Still, there will be more. I think sometimes these, these box sets come out and, uh, you know, sometimes fans aren't even aware of it, so I'm just letting fans of Pokal Harm know that this is a very nice spot set. I think in uh, on Amazon in, in uh, Amazon.com, I got this at Amazon.ca, I think I saw it for $75. Crazy. Crazy. And you get a burger along with it. That's right, a burger. <laughs> Somebody will come back. I never got my burger with the Brokal Harm box set. And of course, I can scan this book for anybody that's interested. They don't call me. I'm known as Larry Graves, AKA Canadian Stub Muffin, AKA Scan Man. Not Scam Man. Yeah, and then there's a few more pages, and so really nice box set, and I've listened to some of it. The it's remastered and it sounds great. And that's it. So
I have nothing, nothing else left to say. <laughs> so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the video with Glenn and I and Jack. Uh, Jack's stereo experience, his nephew, he's coming along too. And we're going to go into Zap Records in Coburg, Ontario. And we're going to steal all of the CDs that they have there. It should be exciting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.